Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. I got my days mixed up. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday. It's a happy to wonder. You know, every day in the Lord is wonderful. I love waking up in this place. I love waking up with the Lord every morning. Every morning when I just start to wake up, I'm always aware that maybe God will be talking to me. Because sometimes he talks to me when it's real quiet. I haven't heard his voice in a long time. But I'm here. Lord, I'm always ready for your voice. Do you ever ask God to speak to you. You'll hear his voice inside your belly. It's an audible voice. And believe me, you're the only one who can hear it. But you can hear it when he speaks to you. Oh my goodness, what, what an incredible thing when he speaks to you. And some, I've been out shoveling snow. When we lived in Wisconsin, God would speak, say something to me. Or I've just been sitting on the couch. God, it's just, I never know when he's going to do it. But he does it sometimes. I want to talk to you today about how to know if there's a curse in your life. How to know. Curses are invisible obstacles blockers, hindrances, mountains in your life. They destroy people's lives. They hinder people's lives. They make things difficult for people. And most people don't even know they have them. We're going to talk about that today. Say this with me today on this happy Thursday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Why? Because I get results, incredible results. If I have just today, the praise reports that have come in today are just amazing. Just incredible praise reports have come in already today. I just praise God for that. Lady called me today and she said, oh my goodness, Pastor Jim. She says, you prayed for me a while ago and I have been so, feeling so much better. And I just wanted to tell you, I just got a check in the mail for $24,000. And I went, oh my goodness, good for you. She got a check in the mail for 24,000 bucks and she's on a fixed income. I didn't ask her where it came from. That's none of my business. I'm just praising God that she got it. But I blessed her. She's blessed. I blessed her a while ago. I prayed for her health because she wasn't doing good. She's doing a lot better now. Glory to God. She had some of these invisible curses going on in her life. A lot of them. Huh? I mean, she she came here, she was flat broke. Not for long, she wasn't. We got her finances straightened out by blessing her. And God found a way to give her a good income. Was from, I'll tell you how she got it. She's going, to, she's going to watch this video. It was from her husband who had passed away. And her divorce wasn't final yet. So she got his social security, of which he had a good one. More than enough to take care of her. Had that divorce been finalized, she wouldn't have gotten a penny. But she did. Everything worked out for her. We hope her husband was saved. I don't know. But I do know that things straightened out for her. I mean, there's, there's no limit to how God can do things. I have seen people blessed financially every way you can think of. One lady lost her life savings. 
I said, I don't know how God's going to do it, but you're going to get it back. Plus, you're going to get three or four times what you lost. She, one year later, she had a check in her hand for almost four times what she had lost. Somebody died, left her all that money. Somebody, she didn't even, actually, they didn't leave it to her. She was the only heir. A lawyer found her all the way out in California. He found her. She didn't even know that relative was still alive. Never even knew anything about him. All of a sudden, some lawyer contacts her and says, hey, so-and-so died. Do you know that person? She says, yes. Haven't seen him for 40 years. The lawyer said, well, you're the only heir. She got almost four times what she had lost. You share this video with everybody you know, folks. I'm telling you, we get just such incredible results through the power in the name of Jesus. And this is the only place I know where this is going on. It's the only place I know where this, this kind of spiritual activity is going on. And you know what? This should be going on everywhere. But it's not because people don't have any faith anymore. I mean, you got to have some faith to make this kind of stuff happen. You read through the Bible. Eli caused Hannah to have a baby in her old age because of her faith, his faith. His faith caused her to do that. My faith is what causes people to get all kinds of stuff, all kinds of blessings. Glory to God. All these, in, these invisible objects. I wrote this book on how to break curses. Do you know if I break all the curses in your life and you watch your words, I wrote the book on that too. You watch your words, I'm telling you what, you will live a blessed life. How to know if you've got any of these curses going on in your life? Well, for one thing, chronic poverty is a sign of curses. In most cases, that's a sign of generational curses because poverty is all, almost always, 99% of the time, generational. People don't come from well-to-do families and wind up with nothing. They just don't. I don't care what anybody says, they just don't. Now, sometimes people get strung out on drugs and they have problems, and but that's very rare. That's very rare. For poverty is almost always a generational curse. Chronic sickness, you will find, is almost always a generational curse. That's why when you go to the doctor, one of the things on the questionnaire is, did your father or mother ever have heart disease? Did they ever have cancer? Did they ever have arthritis? The doctors want to know if it's hereditary. They call it hereditary. We call it generational. When I break these generational curses in your life, everything changes. Because people, there is so little knowledge out there anymore about these things. But curses allow these demonic spirits if in, to get in your life, such as the spirit of infirmity is allowed to be in a person's life through a curse. Somehow these curses get in there. Now they can get in there a lot of different ways. The original curse started with Adam. But Jesus redeemed us from all that. So when he, Jesus went to the cross, all the believers started out with a clean slate because they were all redeemed. But these curses have gotten back into people's lives. A curse of poverty can start so easy just by somebody saying, I can't afford that. I never have enough money to pay my bills. You say that, and that is a curse on your life. Jesus said that by your words, you will be condemned. By your words, you will be justified. Your, your words can get you out of a curse just as easy as they got you into a curse. 
because what you bind on earth is bound from heaven. What you loose on earth is loose from heaven. You call me, I'll bind that curse. If you got curses going on in your life, if you think there's any curses going on in your life, you call me today and have me break those. And we'll get you started living a curse-free, blessed life. Because not only will I break the curses, but I will speak blessings over you. And the priest, the pastor, the ordained of God has the authority to speak blessings. Now, you can speak blessings over yourself, too. But God gave the priest the authority to speak blessings. And he gave it to us word for word. He told us how to do it, and he gave us the words to use to do it. And he said, when you speak this blessing, I will bless them. You got any chronic sickness going on in your life that came through your family? We call it bloodline curses. You got any of that going on in your life? You got any chronic poverty? I had a generational curse of poverty in my life. And when I realized it, the Lord showed me a vision of my grandfather, who I never met, cursing my father. And he said to him, if you leave us and go back to Pennsylvania, you'll never amount to anything. Lord showed me that. My sister confirmed it. She was a lot older than me. But she confirmed that my dad had been cursed. And my dad, in turn, cursed some of his kids. I wasn't one of them. But the curse of poverty followed him to me. I struggled with my finances my whole life. Nothing I did worked out. Every time I got any money or got anything nice, it got stolen from me or taken away from me. That's curse. That's a curse when that happens. I struggled constantly to make money. And when I did, sometimes I did make a lot of money, but it didn't stay with me. I lost it. Not no more. Because I, when, I, when the Lord showed me that, I went outside at midnight and, and said, in the name of Jesus, I break that generational curse of poverty in my life. And I felt like somebody reached down and pulled a heavy wet blanket off of me. It was like I was so much lighter. And things started to change. Now here we are, 11 years later, and living the life of Riley. All because these curses have been broken. There was curses of sickness in my family, too. I broke all those. I don't have any of that stuff. I broke it. Jesse Duplantis had a curse of heart disease in his family. He broke it. He's fine. Glory to God, I'm not the only one doing this. Jesse Duplantis knows how to do this. But you can't talk to him. He won't pray for you. He's too busy. But I'm not. I'm busy. I'm real busy. But not too busy for you. Because when people call me, they become the most important person in the world to me when they're on the phone with me. And I am totally dedicated to getting things taken care of for you. When you call me, your problems and your needs become my responsibility. All I need for you to do is just be quiet. I'll take care of everything for you through the power in the name of Jesus. And believe me, folks, when I tell you there's enough power in that name to take care of any problem that you might have. I lady called me yesterday from England and I spoke over her and she said to me, well, it's more complicated than that. I said, no, it's not. Nothing is more complicated than the name of Jesus can take care of. That is all power and all authority. Call me today. Make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations because I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you and break every single curse in your life.